what are the key features? What should everyone be getting excited about? Well, the key features are battery life. This has got two hours more battery life than your standard iPhone 7. And uh, it also has a glass back for uh, wireless charging. And the other main thing, of course, the main thing, it's all about the lovely screen. Top to bottom screen. See if I open it up. Almost here. top to bottom. Almost top to bottom. Oh, we have a notch at the top there where you can see it's been taken away. The sensors are there. And of course, a big part of what's behind that notch is Face ID, which is another big feature. It is, Face ID. Now, this replaces uh, fingerprint ID on the old iPhones. Uh, this is using uh, an infrared sensor that fires out from the front of the phone uh, up in this notch here. Um, uh, infrared dots all over your face, so it's got 3D depth sensing, so it cannot be fooled by a photograph. Um, and this uh, system was actually developed by the people who developed the infrared sensor for the Xbox Kinect camera. Which, it just so happens, <gasps> we have right here. So this is quite old technology, but it's being shrunk right down. That's right. That's the really clever thing about the iPhone 10 is that uh, back in 2013, Apple bought the Israeli company PrimeSense that created that sensor, and they've managed to shrink it down so it actually fits in the front of the screen. Now, that's the really ingenious thing they've managed to do because this is a huge camera system here, and that worked very well. And to make that te technology work in this sort of space is really quite something. So that's clever. This is the iPhone 8 Plus. So this is the, the one that is de directly going against. Now, what I w brought this in for is I want to show you the difference in the screen sizes. Now, the great thing about the iPhone 10 is that they've managed to squeeze um, a massive screen onto a smaller phone. As you can see, they're much considerably smaller. However, due to the difference in ratio, you're not actually getting as much screen as you think. These are both screens going, and because the ratio isn't quite right for the iPhone 10, you actually, with the iPhone 8 Plus, you've got a much larger screen size, an appreciably larger screen size. You can tap on this and then expand it out so it takes up the whole screen, but then you get that you know, rather ugly notch appearing on the side of the screen, and also you're not seeing the entirety of the screen. It's actually blowing it out. So, Yes, it's the largest real estate of screen on any iPhone, but it's not the largest screen. Evolution, revolution, best phone ever, just another phone, where does it sit? Um, it hasn't exactly uh, made my socks roll up and down. It, okay. is, it is a new phone from Apple. It is possibly the best phone that Apple have produced. Uh, lovely screen, and it works uh, very well at what it's actually doing. Um, I am getting used to the lack of the home button, and the Face ID system does work very well as far as I'm concerned. I think it's a great phone. It is not a world-changing device. It's just a great phone. Mm -hmm.